today I will be doing a makeup tutorial for makeup beginners on this nice smoky eye look that I created. It's perfect for work, church, school, if you're going on a date. So if you want to learn how to create this look, just keep watching. There is one very important item you need to make sure you have before you create this look today. This um, daytime smoky eye and that's an eyeshadow primer. And today I will be using the infamous Urban Decay Primer Potion in the original color. And you want to just take a little bit of that and dab it on your finger and place it all over your eyelid. You want to do that like so and just kind of blend it out. You don't have to worry about blending it out perfectly. And this just creates a sticky base for your eyeshadow where it makes your eyeshadow last longer throughout the day. So now we have our base applied. And then you want to get a transition color. Today I will be using Blame It On Midnight. This color here. And it's just a soft kind of beige brown color as you see. It's by NYX and I got it from Ulta for about $4.99. And you want to use a blending brush. And I will be using the 224 MAC blender brush is my favorite blending brush ever like it makes blending so much easier I love this brush and I'm gonna buy another one when I get a chance you just want to dab the blender brush in the eyeshadow shake off the excess and you want to place the transition color from above your crease area to almost about where your eyebrow is and just like so So now that we have our base transition color in place, we're going to move on down a little bit. We're going to place a reddish color, as you see about where I have here, a reddish red color. We're going to move down a little bit, and we're going to place this color. It's called Dance with the Tides by NYX. And really, I own MAC eyeshadows and NYX Urban Decay. And no lie, NYX eyeshadows are just as good as MAC eyeshadows. And I love these colors. I also got this one from Ulta. You want to take your blender brush again. Swirl it around here. Dip off the, I mean tap off the excess powder. And then you want to just go right here a little bit. Don't go as high as we did with the first transition color. And don't go below the crease area. We'll place that like so. Again, don't go below the crease area. Okay. And now, do you see how that created more of a dimension? Like when you're doing your eyeshadow, the thing is about creating dimension with your look. It doesn't look as flat as it did when I first put the first transition color up there. So now we're going to put our darker brown. This one is called Brown Down by MAC. And this is the color. It's like a chocolate brown matte color. And I'm going to take my 217 brush by MAC. My dog just moved my camera. 217 MAC brush and I'm going to swirl this around and I brown down like so and we're going to place this color in the crease area and in our outer V like so you can even go into like a C motion the letter C. And we're going to blend this out. So don't worry about these harsh lines or anything. There we go. So we have that color there. And now we're going to move on to our eyelid color. And I will be using this one is called Deep Bronze. 
And I got it on sale at Ulta for $2.49. I think this is one of the old NYX colors. Again, another NYX color. And it's again, like the name says, a deep bronze color. And I will be using my MAC brush to place this. This one is the MAC 239. And you just want to place that on your eyelid like so. Once that's placed, you want to take your blending brush, a clean blending brush, and you want to blend out these harsh lines. And I prefer using this blending brush than the uh, MAC, I think it's the 217, the white blending brush because this one makes your job a lot more easier because the brush um, hairs are not as dense as the 217 so it cuts your time in half with blending and it gets rid of all these harsh lines so you just blend 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 so that you get a soft transition from the colors you don't want any harsh line because you don't want to be looking like a little raccoon, okay? That's not cute. Let's see. Blend some more. Alright. Oh, okay. Now you see how that's a lot more softer than when we began. And we won't. That's the look we're going for. There we go. So now what I do is, and this is totally optional, I'm going to use a black eyeliner and I'm going to line my lower lash line and I will be using Urban Decay. This is my favorite black eyeliner. It is the Urban Decay. Um, perversion pencil it's like the blackest of black eyeliner you can ever have like it's awesome and it stays in place all day and I'm gonna use my MAC 266 brush I find it easier for me to do this than uh, kind of line it with the pencil itself so I just take I just do like this Now we're gonna line our lower lash line. And soft strokes. I'll tell you doing your makeup in the um, camera is a lot harder than doing it. I mean in the mirror. Line. Mm -hmm. You want to do that, and now I'm also going to take that brown down that we used earlier dip my 266 brush in there and line my lower lash line with this also okay. and this other part is totally optional I'm gonna place I love eyelashes so you can uh, at this point apply your mascara if you don't want to wear eyelashes or you can you know apply some falsies and give it a more dramatic look. I'm going to be using these Demi Wispies from, I got from Walmart. I actually like these better than the other ones. Um, What is it called? Um, Kiss. It just fits my eye shape better and they're a lot more affordable. You get four pairs for what, eight bucks at Walmart. So I'm going to come, I'm going to leave, apply my other eyelash and fix this little area right here you can, with a Q-tip and I will be back. This is the completed look. 
I applied my other eyelash and I fixed that little mistake I made down here with a pointy Q-tip. So if you mess up, don't beat yourself up. It's no big deal. Just take the Q-tip and fix it. And won't nobody be able to tell the difference, okay? I hope you like this look. It's a nice look, I think, for work, church, um, a date. You can wear it at work and then wear it, you know, out with your homegirls later for cocktails if you like. I think it's just, like I said, a soft kind of romantic smoky eye look so i hope you like this video if you got any questions or concerns hit me down below in the comment section and don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel peace